Hey what's up guys, it's Nashcrafter and welcome to my channel for episode 3 of Foolcraft. We are back here on our Foolcraft world today. Things are looking good. As you can see behind me, it kind of looks like I'm in a different part of the world, but I'm not. This is actually our base and you guys can see behind me, I've kind of cleaned things up just a little bit for today's episode. So in between the last episode and this episode, I did so much terraforming, so, so, so much terraforming. It took me quite a while to finish, but I'm really happy with it. I'm glad that everything's level now so that once we start to build our main base, it'll be, it'll just be a lot easier. I still have my farm down here, but I also decided to move everything and really get organized because when I left you guys off in the last episode, things were a little bit everywhere I guess you could say so I've got all my animals moved over here I've got my berry bushes I finally labeled all of my chests and I have been working on chickens off camera now I told you guys that I wasn't gonna do too much of this on camera I've already dedicated a lot of it into my sky factory series so if you guys missed it we did work on it a little bit in the last episode but I've been working off camera. We've got a few new chickens here. I got the iron, the sand, the coal, and then a bunch of different colors. So everything's looking good with these guys. I'm just going to slowly start, you know, doing more chickens off camera as we go. But for today's episode, we're actually going to do something pretty cool. Well, I guess it's, it's kind of basic, I guess you could say. Um, we're going to be working on a nether portal, but not just any nether portal. We're going to be making it really cool, really awesome looking. You guys know I love my building and I love to make things look really pretty and really fancy. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make this portal really, really epic. And we're also going to go into the nether. So things should be pretty interesting. But first thing, I'm going to start off by making a chisel. We're going to need this for today's episode pretty 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 heavily so we're gonna grab one of those I also have my trusty chest wall right over here set up with everything we got to do in today's episode so I've got a lot of blocks here ready for the portal I wanted to make a coal gen as well as a home pet so it's actually called a house pet but this is part of inventory pets this is a really cool mod in this pack and if we take a look the crafting recipe is super easy so what we can do is shift click this in and these ender nuggets are super easy to get. Um, you basically just put an ender pearl in, it gives you ender nuggets. So that's how I got that. And then we can do this and we've got ourselves that house pet. So it teleports you home if you right click and then you can also set your own home point. So that's what we want to do really quick because this is basically an exploration pack. There's lots of exploring, lots of fun things. And if we get far away from our base, I want to be able to just teleport home. So if we shift right click, there we go. It says home spawn point set. So perfect, we've got our spawn point set and I can set this. We'll just put it up here in our inventory. Next thing I wanna do is I need to make some power. So I was thinking coal generation. We do need a machine frame. So we can, oops, shift click that guy in and then boom, there we go. Pretty easy recipe and we can just set this down right here. I also do have a lot of coal just from mining, so we're good there. And if I put this in, it should just automatically start filling this bar up. Yep, and there we go. So it's ticking up. We're good to go. So next thing we're going to want to make is some Ender I.O. machines. So we're going to need three of these. But before we start to make these, I am going to sleep really quick so nothing scary comes and ruins our base. You may not sleep. There's monsters nearby. I think there might be monsters underneath where my bed is. So if I go, there we go. If I go over here, we can actually sleep. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we can finally make these machines. Now I need myself a sag mill, an alloy smelter, and a painter. The painter is going to have to come a little bit later, but we can at least make the sag mill and the alloy smelter. So we need three of these machine chassis. So I got all of these made. Let's see, alloy smelter, I think. Yeah, there we go. LA smelter and then we also need ourselves a sag mill and there we go we've also got ourselves a sag mill so we need these guys and we'll just connect these right next to this power source here so like this and like that 
So these should both be getting power. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So these are ready to go and we need these in order to make ourselves that painting machine that we really want. So this is the recipe for the painting machine. Now we do need nether quartz. So we do need to go to the nether and basically we needed those machines in order to make this electrical steel. So we got to get some of this too. We also have to make silicon, which if you smelt nether quartz, that's a good way to get it. We could also use a pulverizer, but I'm not too worried about making that. We could also do it in a sag mill, which could be another way to go. So we have a lot of options, lots of different things we could do, but I think the first thing we should focus on is getting into the nether. I have the spot marked out for where I want our portal to be, so everything should be good. I've kind of carved it out. You can see I've, I've got a basic layout over here and everything's looking good. So I do want to hop up here and it's really, really dark, so we'll have to figure out a way to light all of this. So I'm gonna light this area up just a little bit so you guys can see a little better on camera, but this is where our portal is gonna be. So I'm gonna get the frame laid out and then I'll be right back with you guys. So here we go, I got the frame all laid out and it is a 11 by 13. So we've got 11 across the top and bottom and then 13 going up and down. So pretty big, it's gonna be huge. Now we do have to go make a flint and steel really quick. Got the flint and steel, so that's good. One thing I also did wanna mention is that off camera I did make myself a tool forge. So this thing's pretty cool. It actually unlocks a bunch of other tools that you can make. I eventually wanna get into this thing. This is super cool. I really, really like this tool. I just made it in Sky Factory 3 and I really, really think it's awesome. So I wanna make one of these in the near future. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but I they're awesome. It's freaking cool. It's like a ninja star and if you make it unbreakable, you basically have unlimited just like ninja star crazy powers. The crafting recipe looks like this. It's super easy, super simple, and this tool station is very, very easy as well. So I just want to make sure I told you guys about that in case you saw it and you were wondering. Um, we did. I did make one of those off camera and it's it's cool. It's awesome. So let's head over and let's light this portal and get started in the nether. I'm actually kind of scared because I've heard the nether can be pretty brutal in mod packs like this. So we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. All right. So let's let, let's light this thing. Oh, there we go. So it looks pretty awesome. Pretty epic. It's a huge portal, but I'm really excited about it. So let's head through. Alright, hopefully we don't have any crazy gas. We do have a nitro creeper up there it looks like and those things are not your friend. They're not friendly whatsoever. So what we want to do is we need to get ourselves some quartz and there's probably tons over here so we can just grab as much as we need. Ooh, having vein miner is awesome with this. Oh! Oh, I totally forgot I had my furnace helmet on. I was like, what? That's awesome though, because that made the silicon I need. So hey, I'm happy with that. But we actually do need quartz. So I'm gonna take that off really quick and uh, hopefully that won't happen again. So let's break this and vein mine. There we go. And we've got ourselves some quartz. So pretty easy, nothing too crazy. What is this? Coal ore? This is coal? Why does that? That was like diamonds. That was diamond. Oh my goodness. Okay, sweet. So we got ourselves some diamonds. Um, I'm not going to look around too much while we're in here for right now. This pickaxe is super quick on this nether rack. Ooh, that's lava. We've also got some inferium ore here. This stuff is really, really good. Um, once we start mystical agriculture, that's going to be really helpful. So we want to grab that as well. Oh my gosh, that gave us so much. Wow, this is awesome. I actually kind of am liking this nether. This is really cool. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build kind of a base around our portal just so nothing blows it up, nothing gets too too crazy or scary, or nothing comes through the portal because we don't want that. Well, next thing we're going to want to do is we want to make the painting machine because this is something that I think is really going to help our build and our design. So what I want to do for this basically this nether portal design and kind of the nether in general is I really like this block. I have this basalt block and it is probably my favorite modded block that you can get. I love this block. I also really like the ebony wood block. It's really, really cool, but this is one of my favorite blocks and if you chisel it, it looks awesome. So I'm going to sort out my inventory really, really quick, put some stuff away and I'll be right back with you guys. 
So I've got my inventory sorted just a little bit better. It's looking a little cleaner. Now we want to make ourselves a painting machine like I was saying. And we need to make some of this electrical steel. So what we want to do is go into our alloy smelter. And I should be able to shift click this in. So these awesome basalt blocks I was talking about. I really like this one here. So I'm just going to make a ton of this uh, this pattern or this chisel whichever you whichever you prefer to call it but this should be really really cool I want the nether to be this kind of dark fortress type looking thing so it should be pretty awesome I hope you guys really like it um, you'll have to let me know after after you guys see the build but it should be pretty cool so we've got everything we need now oh we need two pieces of quartz which I, I was not prepared for I guess we weren't ready but now we're ready so we're good to go. We can make ourselves this painting machine. So we'll put this in just like this. Now this does need to be connected to power just like all the other ones. So our coal generator should give this a little bit of power. Now this thing is awesome. It can paint glowstone. It can paint fences, cobblestone walls, stairs, everything. It can paint, well not everything, but it can paint a lot of things. So we're going to start to head over and we're going to start to build this thing. So we need to construct this. It's going to be super cool. So I already did most of this in a test world. So I know exactly what it's going to look like. And I hope you guys really enjoy this build because when I was building it, I was getting super excited. Now it is very flat. I do have to say it is a very flat design, but I think overall, I think you guys will really like it. So we're just going to carve out some of this area here. And we want to, this is where we want to start basically. So kind of take some of this out, some of this out, and then we just want to run this right along. Awesome. So we've got this so far, and then we just want to head up and basically connect this to the top. Now, the easiest way I was doing this since I can't fly, this is kind of how I did the obsidian part, is I was com coming up, pillaring up just like this, and then dropping myself down. So it seems to be working so far so good. And the nether rack breaks really, really quickly. So it's making building um, a lot easier. So basically I want the portal to be kind of covered. I don't want you to be able to see the actual portal lines, just the purple part, the, the cool ambient part. So I think it'll be pretty awesome once we're done, but we just gotta do this to both sides. So I've gotten a little bit of progress done. Things are looking good, but I wanted to come over to our painting machine and do a little bit of work with this. So I wanted to take our chiseled basalt block and put it in with some cobblestone walls. Now this is going to look really, really cool. Just give it some extra detail, some extra depth, which is always good when you're building. And what I really like about this painting machine is that you can paint any block, well most any block, to look like any other block. So I'm going to wait for this to be done. I also am going to do the same thing with stairs. And then we'll head over, we'll take a look. I'll show you guys what I've done so far. So we are heading over and I want to show you guys what I've done so far. I haven't done too much, um, not too, too much, but things are looking good. So I did actually change out this little kind of porch patio thing type area thingy. I don't know what to call it. Um, just a walkway, I guess, the entrance area. So it's looking pretty good. And then I've got these, uh, you know, the basalt that's kind of outlining the portal. So it's looking pretty good. And... I think it's going to look, I don't know, I'm, I'm really excited about it, but what I want to do is I actually want to take out these, um, these torches, I think the other one's fine over here, and I want to run this along just to give it some more depth, you guys know, like, I, I don't know, I love building in Minecraft, I've said it so many times, I know you guys are probably sick of hearing it, but I really do, and I think what's really cool about building in Minecraft is you can get super, super creative, and especially when it comes to modded and things like that, you can, like, use the painting machine, and this looks awesome, it just gives it some depth, it's not a flat surface, which is really, really cool, so I think we're gonna do that to both sides, there we go, so it's looking something like this, that's really cool, I like that. I like that a lot. So then, what I was thinking to further cover up the obsidian is we could kind of come along these edges just like this. Oop, if I can reach, there we go. And kind of go all the way around. So along the top, along the sides, and then right along here because we are only using the basalt block and this, um, this stone slab for this build, but I want it to still be interesting. I still want it to look really pretty. So I don't know, I'm just kind of, I'm messing around here, kind of 
seeing what looks good and seeing what doesn't and we're gonna go and add lighting and everything so it should look pretty cool so I've gotten the whole thing basically done we're gonna head over there in just a second to add some finishing touches but I actually wanted to add some of these factory blocks so these are pretty cool the one I wanted to use was this gold framed purple plates factory block it looks fantastic it's probably one of my favorites because it looks kind of like I don't even know how I'd describe it. It just looks really, really nice because it looks kind of like rusty and like, like cool, but it's also got this pretty purple tone to it. So we're going to add that. And I think that's going to be mainly the base colors that we go off of. Now you can't exactly see too, too well. This view is looking pretty sweet though, but you can't really see too well because nothing's really lit up. I think if we add some glowstone, it's really going to add to it and make it look really good. So I think that's going to be our first plan of action. So let me hop up and add some glowstone. So I'm just going to add it right along the top like this so it has some backlighting, which would be really nice. And then we can just, I'm going to smelt all of my nether, my nether rack because I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Let's see. Let's grab some of this and then there we go. So you can see it from the bottom. I might have to go under and maybe cover that up because I don't exactly like that color but if we take a look from far away it should look pretty good yeah so it's a little bit more well lit so there we go I got it a little bit more covered up but the glowstone is still there so it should provide lighting for us which will be really nice so we're gonna hop down here cover that back up and then we'll head to the bottom and see if that looks a little bit better yeah that looks so much better so now it kind of has this like this sort of backlighting to it so you can still see that there's a glow there but it's not too you can't really see that yellow now I don't mind glowstone I like the texture um, it can be a little bit busy though when you're trying to make a build kind of flow and have its own color palette I feel like that yellow can kind of throw it off just a little bit so that's the only thing that's the only reason why I wanted to change it so what I was thinking is we could come up along the side of each of these stairs and put a full block and then right up along here as well just to kind of add some 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 edging to it I think that'll look pretty good and then we can hop down here I do need to make myself some more of those cobblestone walls that are painted and then I want this to be really detailed and really cool looking so it's gonna have I think we'll do the brick under like that man I need to make a few more blocks but my idea is basically to have the uh, factory block kind of be behind here so we'll kind of have this purple this really nice purple popping out from behind now again it's getting really dark I'm working in a super dark area so you guys kind of can't see this but if I hold the glowstone you can see it a little bit better so I'm going to light this area up. I'm going to get a few more things done and then I'll be right back. So we're going to head over to our portal again. I've got some things down in my bottom bar. You guys can see I've got the painted fence and then just some other pieces that I needed. Now this is looking good. I really, really like this. So I got the factory block and I decided to put it down here. I think the purple kind of works with the portal purple I think it looks pretty cool um, but my idea is actually I'm gonna cover a lot of this up I think it looks good like this but just to add a little bit more detail I thought about running this block down at the bottom and actually we could probably even get rid of this one I think what I want to do is put some of these blocks kind of on the bottom of this just to cover up the border that's around this uh, factory block here it's not my favorite texture so I want to just cover that up a little bit we can hop up here and we can put the last one right in there and you guys might be thinking well why are you why are you gonna cover it up like it the purple looks cool and the purple does look cool but this is just to add detail just to add depth and I think it actually works because it kind of looks like a backsplash like it kind of has this like nice wallpaper behind this fence texture which I think could look really really cool so I'm just going to finish this up really quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you guys can kind of see where I was coming from. So it's got a little bit more detail and I like that. I think it looks really cool. I so that should finish everything off there except for I think I want to add some little cobblestone walls or basalt walls to the side of this just to make it look a little bit better. And then we could also add a block there, a block there, and then maybe one there too. 
and then we can kind of connect this off. So if anything does come out of the portal, hopefully they won't wander too far. They could just kind of stay in this area or if they do go down the stairs, then that's fine too. But you know, we'll kind of contain this area just a little bit. Now, once I can find myself an ebony fence, I'm going to put an ebony fence here. I just don't have it right now. So it's kind of it's just kind of hanging open. Anything can walk through our portal, which isn't good, but I'm going to go on a mission later on once I stop recording and we'll go try to find that ebony because that's honestly a really, really awesome texture in this pack too. But this is looking really good so far. I just have a couple finishing touches left and then we'll be good to go. Alright guys, so I'm finally finished. Everything is looking super good. So I just added a little bit of texture mixing so you guys can see in the cobblestone over here. I just switched out some of the blocks so it looks a little bit more like it was meant to be that way, kind of. Like it's not completely natural, but it looks like, I don't know, just extra detailed. And I think this looks really cool. I also added the other side of the stairs just to kind of finish it off. Now, I think it would be cool if I could mix in some different textures into the dirt texture. That might make it just even a little bit, slightest bit better. But this looks pretty cool. I'm super happy with it. So we'll take a look just like this and we can even go and get a closer look. So this is what it looks like, you know, the stairs. And then if we head up the stairs, it kind of looks like this. And there's some funny lighting glitch here that I'm not too sure about, but this is basically what it looks like. So I added some glowstone into the walls. So it's kind of lit from from this stone over here and then just from the top it looks like this so pretty cool i also have another view that i can show you guys so let's head over there so from on top of the trees over here this is what it looks like so pretty crazy it's built into this huge mountainside i think it looks pretty cool you guys will have to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this build because I don't know I just it's very different from anything I normally do I you guys know I normally do like steampunk and stuff like that and I know that there's not really too much color there's just the black the purple and then the gray but honestly I think those colors really work good together and I really like the way this turned out so I hope you guys like it too feel free to leave me comments down below I love reading your comments I try to reply to everybody so if I don't reply to you I probably just missed it, but I do my best to reply to every single comment. So if you guys leave a comment, I'll try my best to reply to you guys. And most of the time, I definitely do. So leave me comments down below. So this is kind of a top view of it. I just pillared up with some wood, uh, some oak wood. And you can kind of see the detail on the top. Now, it is a little bit harder to see because the basalt kind of looks like one big block formation there's not really too much breakup but there is a little bit of depth that you guys can see in that but it's pretty cool i'm so happy with it and we got this awesome sweet nether portal this is getting me so excited for the builds in the future so i hope you guys are ex as excited as me because this one was crazy this took me actually quite a long time to do and i'm getting myself some charcoal so we're just gonna get down here really quick but that's going to have to be it for today's video, guys. I really enjoyed this video. It was so much fun for me. But that's going to have to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It, like I said, it was so much fun for me. This was a really great build. It was really fun to do. And we also got some machinery going, which was good. We're off to a good start. So don't forget to leave me comments down below on what you guys are thinking about this build. Also, feel free to leave me tips and tricks for this series if you guys are playing full craft on your own. You guys have absolutely been killing it. You guys have been showing such amazing support for this series. So thank you guys so much for that. That means so much to me. But I just wanted to say thank you. I will see you in the next episode. I hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye, guys.